Okay. So today we're going to teach factoring. Now traditionally factoring is one of the most difficult topics in beginning algebra. Uh, students find that they can't relate to it, it's very difficult. On the state exam of 30 questions, seven have to do with factoring. And you can only miss six on the state exam to move on. Okay? So seven have to do with factoring. So to help with the factoring section, what I've written for you guys are called learning active notes. So instead of you just sitting there and listening to the lecture, you're actually participating. And in this note, as you can see, there are different sections. We're going to learn 5.1, factoring by GCF and grouping. 5.2, factoring trinomials. Uh, 5.3, factoring trinomials with a leading coefficient is not 1. 5.4, factoring difference of two squares and perfect square trinomials. 5.5, five, factoring using multiple methods. We're going to actually solve the factoring, like in 5.6, solving quadratic equations. In 5.7, we're going to simplify rational expressions. And then finally, in 5.8, one of the most important sections is actually applications using factoring. Believe it or not, you can actually use it. Now, in, this, in these notes, there's actually a couple of nice features that I want to point out. For example, every single section doesn't just start right off. Every single, single section actually starts off with a question. For example, in 5.1, we start off with, what is factoring? And my job by the end of that section is to answer that question. And you'll see at the end, you'll have a place to actually answer what is factoring. So if I get to the end of this section and I don't, you don't know what is factoring, we need to go back and focus on that. Now, other attributes of the book, for example, I don't just start off saying, OK, we're factoring with greatest common factor. No. We start off by connecting to something you've previously learned. For example, find the prime factors. Then, once you understand the basics of factoring, then we can add the variables in, talk about polynomials and things like that. Also, as I mentioned at the end, in 5.8, we have to understand how can we use factoring. So we're going to go through different applications of factoring. And throughout the whole process, it's not just me lecturing. You're going to actually be working through the book, doing examples, working in groups, making sure you understand it, and we're going to move on together and learn this together. Any questions? Good. Okay. Part one. 